All right, everyone, welcome back to another devlog for Glider Sim, which is a paragliding simulator that I'm working on. So today I'm going to be showing you some new features that I've kind of been working on. And I think you guys are really going to like this devlog, especially the paragliding pilots out there. Um, as the main feature I'll be showing you today is thermals, thermal riding. Riding the core of a thermal, finding the core of a thermal, and also cloud development, we'll talk about clouds, and I've also been working on kind of adjusting the flight physics, getting it to be more realistic. Um, I received a lot of good feedback when I posted on the uh, paragliding Facebook group the other day, um, and there's a lot of stuff I learned. I know. I'm not an actual paragliding pilot, but I do have a fond interest in paragliding, and I'll get to it someday. I have gone tandem before, but um, I'm learning a lot from actual pilots, so I appreciate all the feedback. Um, one of the things I learned about the other day was weight shifting, so I programmed that in the other day. As you can see, he kind of leans to the left and right now when I press the A, uh, the a and the D key, and then he pulls on the brakes with the arrow keys. Of course, this is the PC version. I'm working on a mobile version too. Uh, but I think uh, we'll do weight shifting by tilting the phone, and um, the brakes will be. Uh, pulling on a, it'll be all touch screen. Um, so you can kind of see the physics are more realistic. I worked on getting the correct speed of the glider, uh, the correct glide slope of the glider, which is around eight or nine right now. And I worked on getting like the landing working. So if you notice, I lose altitude when I pull the brakes. I'll also have the accelerator working so you can gain more speed when you step on the accelerator. And you can kind of come in. It's kind of fun to pick a spot and try to land there. So here we'll land, we'll kind of try to land on that uh, ridge there. Let's see if we can do it. All right, so we kind of want to pull back lose some speed, lose some altitude, okay, pull back some more, try to land on the road, yeah, okay, I'm probably going to overshoot it, let's see, Kind of, but anyway, as you can see, it's kind of fun to aim for a spot and land. All right, so let me now talk about thermals. So this is going to be a very cool feature that I think you guys will love. Um, so the idea, I've read a bunch, I've watched a bunch of videos on people thermaling, how thermals work, um, how to find a thermal core, and so I went ahead and tried my best to simulate that. So I'm gonna show you a thermal here. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little and kind of speed over to where I was testing a thermal. Um, all right, here we go. So if you notice down here, this is a thermal forming off of these trees here. Um, if you notice these little yellow particles, that's a thermal. And the thermal core has red particles. Actually, I can turn on, so there you can see a thermal bubble rising up and growing from the ground. So as you can see, as we enter this thermal, we'll start to get some lift. If you look, see in the corner there. And the more you enter the center of the thermal, the stronger it gets. And actually, it's good to weight shift in a thermal because you kind of lose speed when you pull 
of the brakes. So this is kind of a weak thermal compared to, so they spawn at a random, kind of a random thermal speed. So this one looks to be around four or five meters per second. So I'm gaining a little bit of altitude. Um, not too fast. Um, I wish it was a little faster. <laughs> um, so now we're kind of outside the thermal. And you can kind of see the thermals right along with the wind. Uh, so if I kind of go forward here, you can kind of see how these thermals, there's one there and there's one here. Uh, and the wind direction is that way. I don't have the wind particles on. If I had the wind particles on, you could see it. But, um, yeah, here's the thermal bubbles. So you can either, you can choose to have the particles active or not active. So here you can see a thermal bubble. We'll enter it again. So, you can choose to have the particles off and you just kind of kind of fly around and hope for a thermal and you can see we're kind of getting a little lift here okay so I kind of restarted the uh, game and spawned a faster thermal here so you can see a, a stronger thermal in action um, so you notice we're kind of on the outside of the thermal as we get into the center more beeping or kind of uh, barometers kind of maxed out. So we're gaining quite a bit of altitude. Which is cool. Now, one of the cool features I worked in here, and I think you're all going to kind of like this, is when this thermal reaches the, a certain height um, in the atmosphere, it will form a cloud. So you can kind of find thermals by keeping an eye on the sky and trying to find some cumulus clouds that are forming. So I believe this, so if you notice that green box, that's actually the height it'll start to form clouds. Uh, so it's not quite forming a cloud yet. And it looks like we're almost outside of this thermal. Yep, okay, we're outside it, so I'm going to try to circle back into it here. Uh, okay, yeah, there it is. There's a cloud right up here. So that's a cumulus cloud forming from the thermal below. So we should go ahead and kind of ride under it. And maybe we'll get into the cloud. If we're lucky. Gaining quite a bit of altitude here. As you can see, we're in a 7 meter per second thermal. And it's giving me 5 meter per second lift. Which I imagine is pretty good. Remember, you paragliding pilots can kind of chime in. So yeah, here we are at the base of the cloud. We rode the thermal all the way up to the clouds. And you can kind of see, this is a second thermal, kind of forming this cloud here. If I turn on these, you can kind of see this in action at a distance. Let's see. So there you can see our thermals coming up. Our thermals coming up from the ground, coming up and they form this cloud. That's pretty cool, I have to say. So again, we're gonna enter this thermal. We'll go ahead and turn off our bubbles. Another thermal up. There's another little cloud starting to form. And we could kind of ride up in the clouds, kind of 
search for our thermal and kind of ride the core. Um, so yeah, that's kind of thermals working. There'll be more more randomly thermals produced throughout the game. I kind of have it figured out how I'm going to choose to randomly spawn them. I think what I'm going to do is like um, put some locations where thermals would form because I hear kind of in dark areas of terrain um, or if you guys have any more feedback where thermals form and I'll have a bunch of those locations and then it'll randomly spawn at those locations and then you can kind of discover them as you fly around. So yeah, that's uh, thermals and clouds. Um, let me know what you think. And again, any feedback you guys have for me uh, is valuable. And I appreciate all that uh, are giving input and look forward to releasing the game so you guys can try this. Again, look for it on the Android store soon and I hope to put it up on Steam, which is a gaming website. Uh, we kind of lost our third point, but there you can see the particles again. Um, so it'll be out kind of soon for people to test and yeah, look forward to people trying it out soon. So keep posted. Remember to su subscribe to the YouTube channel and 5D Realities on social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Alright, thanks so much. We'll see you next step long.